friends and welcome to my newly christened YouTube channel. My name is Erin, you can call me Rin, you can call me Soft June, you can call me Loser. It all is the same to me. <laughs> I figured for my first YouTube video on this channel, it might be fun to do a little makeup look, have a little chat. This is a makeup look that I've done several times before. It is one of my favorites and it is heavily inspired by the makeup that Jaehyun wore in his Poetic Beauty video. That is the video that he did kind of as a teaser type thing when he did a song with Dear Try Again. I don't think he actually wore the makeup look in the actual music video, but it was in that like teaser video and then he took some bomb photos in a photo shoot. So that's what we're doing today. And this is what it looked like. So if you're interested, keep watching to see how I did it. But before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for all of the support on this channel already. I'm blown away by how many people want to see more of my face. Thank you for subscribing. Even if you're not subscribed, thanks for watching this video. I will try my best to make content that is worthy of all of your support. If you have any requests or suggestions for videos that you would like to see, please feel free to let me know in the comments because this is a new channel. I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. I have some ideas for new videos, but I'm really curious to see what you guys want to see. So yeah, let us commence the makeup-y talky portion of this video by. <laughs> Sorry if I come off a little low energy in this video. I'm feeling pretty tired today because last night I tried taking melatonin for the first time and I don't know if it really worked for me because I still woke up like three or four times in the middle of the night like I usually do and now today I'm just way more tired than I usually am after waking up so I don't know. The very first thing I'm gonna do is primer. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Okay, now we can do the face. Actually, first I'm gonna put back my hair because I don't want it getting in the way. <laughs> the cushion that I've been using recently is the Clio Kill Cover. Sorry, there's a bit of a reflection, but I really like it. I I think it's a decent match for me. It might be slightly too light, but I don't know. This is as pale as I get, so. But I, I do think it's a pretty decent match for me, see? It, it matches, I would say, my neck. Every time I see it, like, I feel like it when I look at myself in the mirror, it looks fine. But whenever I look in the viewfinder, I look like a ghost, so. I don't know, you guys tell me, do I look like Hei Chen right now? If so, I will try to find a darker shade for myself. <laughs> I feel like it blends pretty decently with my neck. It's just, I'm not used to seeing my face this pale. <laughs> Especially this cushion is so high coverage that, I don't know, I usually like on a daily basis when I do wear makeup, I'll go for a BB cream that's like much lighter coverage. So seeing myself with such a full coverage foundation on really weirds me out. <laughs> and now we'll do some concealer. This is the Sem Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. My friend gave this to me because it was too dark for her. But it just so happens nicely match me. So for blush, I'm gonna go with a pretty warm one, just as the base. This is the Cream Multi Pot from 3CE Hollyhock, which is primarily on the nose bridge and the upper cheekbone area. powder. I use the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't really love this powder. <laughs> I 
So I think I've mentioned this before, but Jaehyun was actually one of the members that really got me into NCT because of these photos <laughs> and because of that song. I remember seeing those photos of him and just thinking he looked so good and just loving the freckles and the blush on him and I thought he was so handsome. So he was part of the driving reason why I looked further into NCT. So he was actually one of the members that I thought might be my bias. Although I always find that the members that initially attract me to a group very rarely become my bias. He, he didn't end up being one of my biases in NCT, but he still holds a very special place in my heart. I'm very grateful to him for, for kind of dragging me into this mess. <laughs> We're not gonna be filling in the eyebrows actually, because looking at these photos, I don't know, it really doesn't look like his eyebrows are very filled in and my eyebrows are naturally pretty pretty dark already, so I think all we're gonna do is use some brow mascara. What do you call that? Brow gel? Yep, that's the word for it. <laughs> this is boy brow. Ugh, it's all sticky because I spilled lip gloss on it. I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but it at least gets my brow hairs in place because they're super long. I'm not gonna do anything to the brow slit just because it's growing out and it's difficult to make it look nice. So we're just gonna kind of let it do its thing. But let's move on to the eyes. Primer first, this is the Urban Decay one. Like I mentioned, these photos were one of the main reasons I, I first really got interested in NCT. And for that reason, I still really love those photos. I think that this makeup look, dare I say, is one of his best looks, if not, his best look to date. I really think that softer makeup looks really complement Jaehyun's face because I think he's got really unique kind of manly features, but with the soft makeup, it just makes everything look so, I don't know, youthful and he just, ugh. I mean, it's in the name of my YouTube channel. I love soft makeup looks. I love just soft concepts in general and I think that this particular concept really suited Jaehyun. So I hope that someday in the future, he will be able to do a similar concept because it really suited him. This is the Tartlet In Bloom palette. I'm gonna first go in with Flower Child, which is like almost done. That just kind of evens out the eyelid, I find. I take this shimmery, color from the I Multi Cube in Peach, the shimmery one. And I'm just gonna place that right in the middle of the eyelid, cause he does look like he has a little bit of a gloss on his eyes, but, but I find that whenever I put gloss on my eyes, it just creases really badly, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do this little shimmer, which I feel like has a similar, somewhat glossy effect. We'll just move on to lining my eyes. Same Tarte palette, this color here, Rebel. This is a little <laughs> darker than I originally wanted, so I am gonna blend it out a little bit. Now Jaehyun is a member that really confuses me because even though he seems to be one of the more popular members, at the same time, he seems to be one of the members that in certain ways tends to be very underrated. And I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know how that's possible, how you can be really popular but still really overlooked at the same time. But I think what it mainly has to do with is the fact that most of the time when people acknowledge him, they just acknowledge his looks, you know? <laughs> Which is a personal pet peeve of mine. Oh, <laughs> look at what I just did. As I was saying, I feel like a lot of people only really tend to only go for him for his looks. 
while I think it's fine to like somebody's looks and to be attracted to somebody, it can be really disheartening to feel like somebody only likes you because you're attractive, you know? Actually, I think I'm gonna go in with Firecracker. This one here. That's so dark. No, no, abort. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that away. I don't think he's wearing mascara. This is more of a personal choice, but I'm just gonna do a very, very light coat of mascara. I won't do the bottom lashes though, just the top, because when I do bottom, that's kind of when it escalates into a full-on makeup look, you know? Now we can do the fun stuff, I think, which is more blush and freckles. I'm gonna do a little extra blush. Jesus, we're gonna do a little extra blush. Um, this is 3CE Peach Splash. I don't have any fancy freckle products or anything like that. I just use a little eyeliner brush and I'm gonna use the same color that we used for eyeliner at first and try to freckle up my face. And I try not to make them too, you know, spaced out or anything. I think if you do little clusters here and there, it looks a bit more natural. He also has some freckles up here, which I think makes it look really natural because a lot of people, when they do fake freckles, will only concentrate the freckles on this area and they won't do it anywhere else on the face. So when you kind of place them in a bit more of an unexpected area, it can really bring the entire thing together. And now I'm gonna go and darken some of the beauty marks that I have that got erased a bit by the foundation. That's kind of what I will do for freckles. I feel like that's fine, right? Now I'm gonna go back in with that peach one more time and I'm gonna go over it again with something else. But first, the peach. I find that that really tones down the freckles a lot, which makes them look a bit more natural. And now I'm gonna go in with sugar pill. I don't know, their yellow color, I don't remember what it's called. And ever so slightly, just tap that eyeshadow and lightly go over some of those blushed areas to get a nice really like orangey color. Cause I do think his blush was a bit more yellow toned than mine was. There we go. So to continue on the conversation that I started ages ago, even though I think Jaehyun is one of the more popular members, I think he's really criminally underrated in terms of his performance skills, so his stage presence and his vocal skills, and also, mostly, he is incredibly underrated in his personality and his humor. I think he's a really funny member, but he isn't often seen as such, and I think the reason for that is that his humor and his personality in general seems to really change depending on which member he's with. He seems to have a bit of a chameleon-like personality. Maybe I'm really overthinking this and really reading into things way too much, but I just feel like Jaehyun is one of those people that matches really well no matter who he's with. Somebody who can really get along with a lot of different types of people. He does seem to be more introverted, but when he's with a certain type of person, I think he really brings out the best in their personality. But since he is so conventionally attractive, people tend to not look past his appearance. Of all of the NCT stands that I have come across, <laughs> for some reason, Jaehyun stands really like intimidate me the most. They, I don't know, they're just like, on another level of intense. Not in a bad way, let me get that straight. Like they are just fiercely protective over him, which I think is a good thing. I do have to say, I have been at fault for sometimes 
not appreciating Jaehyun's personality as much as I think I should have. For example, <laughs> it's been a year since I've released the 127 guide that I did, but if I could do it over again, I would definitely change up Jaehyun's entire section, basically. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing the pony effect. What is this? Favorite fluid lip tint, and I don't know the color because it's in Korean, so I'm sorry. Let me put this on and then continue talking, hang on. We're basically done. But anyway, let me finish this thought. <laughs> if I could go back in time and redo some things in my 127 guide, there are a couple things I would fix, especially with Jaehyun's part. I do remember after I posted the guide, I got a comment from a Jaehyun stand kind of saying that they were really disappointed in the section that I put for Jaehyun because it was mainly focused on his looks. And obviously it wasn't my intention to do that as I was making the guide, and it wasn't something that I thought about, obviously, before putting out the guide. So because of that, his section does kind of lean more towards just appreciating his look. I did have a small part with his personality included, but I, I, it wasn't enough. And I think a big reason for me not talking more about his personality in that guide is because back then, and even now, Jaehyun really remains a massive enigma to me. I can't figure him out for the life of me. I... And I, I think it's for the exact reasons I mentioned before, where his personality and the way that he acts in front of a camera can really change depending on who he's with. So I do apologize if any Jaehyun stands out there were also disappointed with that guide. I tried to redeem myself a little bit with his birthday video, but um, I still don't feel bad for doing that. And obviously, you know, there's only so much you can cover in two and a half minutes for each member when you're doing a guide, <laughs> but I still felt bad that I had disappointed someone. Anyway, I also want to mention that People like Jaehyun really piss me off, and by that I mean people who have perfect, beautiful, smooth skin without doing a damn thing to it really piss me off as someone who's always struggled with acne their entire life. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. He's a beautiful man and he should keep doing whatever he's doing. You know, more power to him. I just kind of wish I could have skin like his. <laughs> I'm just very envious of him, basically. Anyway, I'm gonna go change my shirt. This shirt is from YesStyle. This is our finished look. It's very simple, but I think it's a really cute look. I love a lot of blush. I know most people, I think, are kind of over fake freckles, but I'm still a sucker for them, so anything involving heavy amounts of blush and heavy amounts of fake freckles is the look for me. So I guess we'll do a small little close-up, right? Hello. On the eyes and the uh, fake freckles, do I have a little creasing going on? That's not cute. Oh well. Ooh, something I forgot to do. Hang on, don't look. <laughs> I didn't rub off my nose ring. <laughs> now it's all shiny and new. <laughs> Okay. And I hope that you enjoyed this little chatty get ready with me type thing. Given the current state of the world, I know that things are a little bit weird right now. I feel like that goes without saying, but I hope that you're all staying safe and healthy and hopefully happy. Hopefully this helped to cure any boredom that you've felt in the past few days because I know I have been bored as hell. Stay safe, wash your hands, Moisturize your hands, cause, you know, with all that hand washing, I know my hands are crusty as hell all the time now. <laughs> Just take care of yourself and your skin. And thank you again for all the support right off the bat. It really means a lot to me. Uh, yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs>